Hello! This is the All Weasel Let's Paper Sorcerer! So, very brief explanation, some background. I played this, I think, on Random Game Weekly, which is a show I have where weekly I play a random game. It's a complicated concept, but if you're not familiar with it, hopefully you can figure it out from the name. Anyway, I played this on Random Game Weekly. It was, uh, quite well liked. I am now starting from scratch. I've deleted my save files, so we're gonna, we're gonna see Paper Sorcerer from the beginning. But I am somewhat spoiled to it because I played just an itty bitty bit of it. Uh, oh dear. Hmm, what level of difficulty do we want? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, chat, what level of diff- Oh, by the way, for those watching the video, this is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Chat, what level of difficulty do we want? Given that normal is the only real option. Okay, shockingly, cancel is, uh, or cancel, <laughs> I guess cancel is the most popular level of difficulty. I would like the difficulty level, nah, never mind. <laughs> Uh, there's- there's no agreement amongst the, uh, the people about what level of difficulty I should go with. Giant shock, I'm sure. Uh, but normal, hard, and 1980s are all popular, so I'm gonna go with normal. Deal with it. <laughs> Once there was a sorcerer who lived in a tower with an apprentice. The sorcerer terrorized the land with evil minions until one way they won't no more. At night, however, light can still be seen burning in the windows of the dark tower. Geez, that goes a little bit fast. The king saw this was his chance to attack the sorcerer directly. With bits of paper and baubles. The artifact that would seal away the sorcerer, ending this reign of terror once and for all. I think I missed a line there. <laughs> On the way, the group traversed dark caves, poisonous marshes, and ancient ruins. They climbed the dark floor by the dark tower floor by floor, beset by evil minions at every step. Once they reached the top, they confronted the sorcerer and activated the artifact. In a blinding flash of light, the sort sort by. <laughs> However, that is just the beginning of our tale. Ooh, slowly moving text. That's actually a really good uh, uh, effect. It just very, very slowly slides on the screen. You awaken with a start, reflexively trying to cast a spell that dies in your throat when you see your surroundings. Double spaced for some unknowable reason. The last thing you remember was fighting four of the king's lapdogs. Bannon, banana, do 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 do, banana, do 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 do. Anybody's in, who's in my Discord chat knows that there's a joke related to that. Banan the warrior, re, 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 the ranger, Akimi the mage, and Yar Yar Weasel the priest. <laughs> They had a book that glowed with a fearsome light. You want the type to be easily scared, but as you looked into that light, you felt truly terrified, like you never had before. Commas are for losers. But you have all your arms, legs, fingers, and senses intact, so things could always be worse. In checking to make sure you are intact, you confirm that you are a man-woman! Yes! Yes, I am a man-woman! Uh, man, fine. The first thing you figure you should do is find out where you are. Use WASD to move, look about with the mouse, click on things to interact with them. And indeed, this is a surprising 3D game with uh, not a lot of uh, stuff going on. To advance dialogue, press the space bar or click the next button. To open the menu, press M or escape. In the upper right corner, and on- Why is it double spaced? I'm not gonna be putting notes in between here. I mean, I will be making notes on the grammar, but I don't need space in the actual text to write my notes. In the upper right corner, an option to search will occasionally appear. Press the space bar to search an area. This can give you additional details about a room and sometimes reveal secrets. So, press space to search areas. You feel some kind of subtle force in this room. It's making it difficult to concentrate and your head feels all fuzzy. You can slowly feel your magic seeping away, along with your will to stand, escape, or do anything that doesn't involve lying down. Whatever kind of magic this is, it's truly insidious. You feel yourself nodding off already. 
You should probably lie down before you hurt yourself. Nah, not gonna. That not investigable? Nope, not investigable. Leap out the window! Okay, fine. Even though you've only been conscious for a short amount of time, you feel extremely tired. Do you want to rest? Yes, absolutely. It doesn't take long before you feel yourself slipping into a deep sleep. Right before you begin to slumber, however, missing comma, you have the distinct impression you're being watched. You have a dream where you're talking with some friends you had when you were younger, but the room you're talking in is unfamiliar, with plain stone walls and a table with several bags in it. When you open the bag in the center, a snake jumps out and slithers out of the room. When you awaken, missing comma, there's a mouse sitting on the end of your bed, staring at you. You're an interesting one! A sorcerer! That's some dark magic! Finding souls and calling them when needed! That can be a dangerous power! Dangerous, but useful! What do you want? I've been waiting for someone like you! I would like to escape, and I think you can help me. Right now you have been sealed inside a prison, of sorts. The king has been trapping threats to the kingdom here for decades! I think I know a way to escape, but I can't do it alone, and a sorcerer like you is just what I need. If you would be willing to help me, I would be able to ensure we both get out. Uh, I don't know how much I trust a talking mouse. Very well, feel free to rot in here. This is your last chance, I won't be back. Will you help me? Gee, it's my last chance, and conveniently I have no actual choice in the matter. Very well. Excellent! The first thing you need to do is get out of this cell block. Suddenly a burst of intense magic energy a uh, intense magic energy fills the room. The oppressive force that was draining your magic is gone, as is the mouse who exploded into magic energy. You hear a whispery voice in your mind. I will find you again soon. Mm. Ah, that was not a window, that was a door, and I can escape, and it was a magical explosive mouse! Magical explosive mouse! You can feel some of your power returning. You may summon one of your former thralls to aid in your escape. Choose wisely. They will function as your party for the rest of your adventures here. Oh, oh, yep, 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 we're here. Hey! Chat. <laughs> Any thoughts? Who should I, who should I make my thrall? I got a few suggestions, no real, uh, uh agreement. So, there will be, uh... There will be further uh, uh, thralls joining us later, as I recall. So I would rather go with something that's pretty uh, disastrous, like dangerous here. Uh, go with the powerful berserker at this point, and something else later. The other suggestion was shadow, unpredictable but powerful magic attacks. So maybe I want something that's a fairly sort of... Uh, 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 sort of reliable damage dealer for the moment. Like, the Minotaur was the other suggestion. And then we'll do something stranger later. But I might, after Minotaur, want something defensive. The Minotaur, a savage berserker, uses brute force to cause severe damage to the enemy ranks. The Minotaur is amongst the most damaging character available, thanks to powerful axes and the fastest strength growth in the game. Additionally, while he can only wear light armor, he boasts some of the highest HP growth as well. Example skills. Wild Swing causes an increased melee damage to all enemies. Rending Strike, severe damage to one enemy's defense. Axes, light armor, and one accessory. Yep, we're gonna go with the Minotaur. Let's not read through everything at this point. The Minotaur has been summoned. Use him well. Plus zero HP! Good for me! As soon as you pass through the doorway, you see a single guard barreling down the hallway towards you. Unfortunately, we couldn't be bothered to animate that barreling down. Hey you! How'd you get out of your cell? What do you do? Ah, uh, let's, let's have a chat! In the nicest tone possible, you call out to him. The door just kinda opened by itself! In response, the guard brandishes his mace and continues his charge. You can tell by the look on his face he's the kind of man who's got something to prove. Combat is turn-based. Select the option you want with the mouse. Right-click to back out of any menu. Spacebar can be used to quickly select basic attack. 
Energy is used when performing skills and regenerates at a rate of one per round. Energy not used in combat can be used outside of battle for healing skills and the like. To do this, go to the skills section of the menu. Small dice icon. Uh, how many turns that skill takes to recharge. So they have, uh, 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 timing recharge, turn recharge. For example, a three means that skill takes three turns to recharge. See these messages again, go to the info section of the menu. Oh, I remember this music! Okay, so Sorcerer himself- oh, this is the Minotaur who's fighting. Okay, this is slightly too loud. Let me turn down my, uh, my volume. There we go. Uh, Minotaur should obviously just attack, but let's check what the skills are. I mean, there's no reason not to do these skills, really, because they'll recharge in three turns anyway, which means they'll be- yeah, okay. Brutal Strike! Kill the guard, kill him! Just attack, sorcerer. Well, actually, let's see, let's see what skills I have. Black Bolt! Yeah, okay. That only takes one turn to recharge, so I may as well use it. Brutal Strike! Kathlak! He's still alive! How dare he! Only one HP to the Minotaur, amazing. I do like the art style in this game. I really, I like any art style that just tries, that does something different. Five gems, 100 XP gained. XP is apparently how I'm going to pronounce that. Well, we're out. The door is sealed and won't open. You feel an overwhelming presence from the other side of the door. So powerful you start to get a headache. Okay, so probably don't want to free whatever that is. The door is sealed. No sounds come from inside. You hear no sounds from the other side. Uh, you hear some kind of strange barking sound from the other side. Whatever is on the other side of the door, you're reasonably... You're my reasonably sure it's not human. The door is sealed and won't open. From the other side, you hear the sounds of loud snoring. From the other side, you hear a series of unintelligible screams. You get the sickening feeling of some inhuman intelligence trying to probe your mind. Okay, really not friendly folks here, but uh, whatever. Let's continue to escape the, uh, the Dark Tower, or whatever the heck it is that we found ourselves in. Hello, you! It's, a uh, it's, a uh, lunch! <laughs> it's, a uh, lunch conveniently boxed up to go. The small chest is locked. Uh, well, if I try and open it, it won't open due to the lock. Thank you. It... I mean, I doubt I have a key. Can I just, like, bash it up? Can I just, like, bash it up? The, oh, the lock looks a little plain. I mean, I didn't really decide to leave the, check al the chest alone. What might a ring like this be used for? Just examining, seeing if I can find the key. I don't really see anything that looks like the key. There's two doors here. A pair of guards are standing around murmuring. We couldn't be bothered to actually show them in the game. As soon as you enter, they'd sort of turn to face you, and we've just comma split, should have used a semicolon. The shocked look on their faces is absolutely priceless. Period. However, comma, they quickly regain their composure and rush in to attack. Really needed a copy editor. Other than HP and energy, there is, comma, there is one other thing you need to keep track of in combat. Def is a character's defense. It's subtracted from any damage inflicted. For example, if a guard attacks you for 10 damage, you have 4 defense and you get 6 uh, points. Uh, right, 6 points of damage, fine. Goes, which is odd, it's perfectly linear. That's a really odd way to do defense, but okay. Uh, if an attack causes 0 damage because the target's defense is higher than the damage caused, fine. More information in the info section. Fight! Okie dokie! He has some skill that attacks... Oh. Do the turns continue outside of battle? Because it did say something to suggest they might continue outside of battle. Hmm. Curious. He can do this. Yeah, I think the energy is retained between battles, interestingly. Maybe if I rest, then it'll uh, reset? So you actually have to worry about the reset timer of skills between battles. 
Hmm, curiouser and curiouser. Yeah, because my energy went up just now. Yep, 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 yep. That's, that's very interesting. That's very interesting indeed. Right, and now I have enough, yeah, this is energy two, I have enough to do that, okay. So the energy indeed uh, is consistent from battle to battle. It doesn't just automatically reset at the uh, beginning of the... Uh, doesn't reset. <laughs> it doesn't reset between battles, are you? That attacks all enemies, so it's a bit wasteful against only one, but hey, I'm just having fun at this point. And he explodes! <laughs> so unnecessary. Ten gems, three wooden coin, zh, one basic tough rune, plus ten HP, two hundred exp. Superb. Okay, what is search telling me there? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Let's not go to the next level just yet. Because I'm betting that the key to this thing is so Oh, hello, I didn't even notice that. Inside the chest is a veritable armory. However, comma, their quality is dubious at best, and you get the impression they were either being sent for repairs or to get scrapped. You find a worthless iron staff, a shameful iron axe, a worn iron dagger, a junky long sword, a dented iron mace, a shoddy great sword, a rusty iron chain, a makeshift warhammer, a poorly made guitar, and an assortment of old rags to drape yourself in. To make sure to equip your character with some basic gear, hammer escape to uh, equip your characters, look at their stats, and so on. Yeah, yeah, go into the menu. Q and E to cycle between characters. Equipment. Sorcerer. Okay, so can I give him a better weapon than he has? Uh... What does he currently have? Does it... Does it show me? Equipment value... Uh... Okay... One second here! Okay, so it looks like the staff increases magic, unsurprisingly. The rest are kind of obvious from what it- Oh, yeah, in fact, it shows it all there. So, this being the sorcerer, I'm gonna give him the, uh, the staff. I like that his ears are just replaced by ear horns, that's cool. Uh, the berserker, can we actually- yeah, we can give him the iron axe. It's a shameful iron axe, but better than nothing, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't, uh... Wait, what? No, actually use- oh, I had to click it again. Okay, now I get it, now I get it. There we go. Give him the- the rags. Uh, he needs the HP more than my Berserker does. Now, I don't think I really have anything left. Oh, there were more rags! Plenty of rags for everybody. No runes available, no accessories, fine. Okay. Ooh, but he didn't heal those extra HP he just got. Curiouser and curiouser. Can't... He, hello? Did... did that actually... Oh, that... Okay, there was a... it didn't quite show, whatever, I think it did save. Uh, hmm... Okay, so can I rest? Can I gain back that HP? Let's see if I can just rest in my cell. <laughs> That's a wise thing to do when you've just broken out of prison. I broke out of prison, but I am so tired. Nope, can't rest, okay. <laughs> he walks slightly slow. Hello, I'm here to murder. Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, we found the guard's secret stash. Ah, there's the plain key. A book titled, The Peaceful Path, Learning to Put Banditry Behind You. Of course I'll take it, are you kidding me? Side, you should steal the book about learning not to steal. That's me! Found one broom. Found one mop. Notice this bed is particularly tiny. Uh, open the bed. With great trepidation, you pull the covers back to reveal. Nothing, except the smell that reminds you of freshly cut grass. It's quite pleasant, weirdly. Examine harder. Okay. Oh, I found a small dusty box under, with a small wooden idol in it. 
to uh, card to resemble a rotund female goblin. Of course I take it! I steal everything! Hmm, I doubt I can use an item on it. Yep, okay. Thank you. So I had enough of a diminutive furniture for one day. Okay, but I got the key. And the key almost certainly goes right here. Uh, yes, use the plain key. You unlock the chest with the plain key. The click sounds it makes is quite satisfying. The lock is now open. Well, then let's open it up for restoration crystals. Restoration crystals are very important items in hard and 1980s difficulty. Aside from a few high level skills, restoration crystals are the only way to revive dead characters. Well, luckily I'm not in that level of difficulty. They restore HP as well as resurrect the dead, so you should always make sure you have a couple on hand. Okay, so that's, that's my restorative item is the long story short. Is that an interactable thing? No, I guess that's just a light. But let's continue on to the next level next time! Until then, thanks for watching! If you liked the video, I've got thousands more! Thousands more! Until then, thanks for watching if you... I just repeated myself. <laughs> I've got thousand more! Cheers! From you always, old.